Hello everybody. So, we have an issue in this country, and I'm sure many of you in your particular countries where you live also have this same issue. The issue is our political class are not listening to us, the people. And because of this, anger is growing on the streets. It, here in the UK, we've seen it recently, tempers are finally flaring at the inaction to arrest the Just Stop Oil um, eco-terrorists. We had, if you look at my video, this is the one here, way back down here. It's on here anyway, you can go and check it out um, on my channel. Um, pe members of the public were just pulling the Just Stop Oil eco-terrorists off the road whilst the police just watched and then eventually protected these eco-terrorists from the general public doing the police's job. That's just one instance. And now what is starting to build is the anger of the inaction over the illegal immigrants that are coming into this country. So we, I've learned from uh, articles I've been reading today that people in Kent are now sleeping with sledgehammers next to their bed because they fear illegal immigrants invading their homes, which have been done lately. Apparently there have been sightings of illegal immigrants in local playgrounds, in local schools, in local gardens, and the police, well, there was an incident the other day down in Kent, I, I mentioned it in one of my other videos, I think it was one yesterday, where um, a woman was forced to hand over the password to her phone and was ordered to take her to Manchester, take this um, illegal immigrant to Manchester. Now, I don't think it took place. I think um, authorities got there in time to stop this from happening. But apparently, police pressured the woman into not pressing charges against this illegal immigrant. And they've also stated that this wasn't a crime. So now, it's, it's legal in Kent. Well, if you're an illegal immigrant, that is. If you're an illegal immigrant in Kent, you can home invade anybody you like because that's not against the law. So we'll, we'll take a look at this first. We, we've got this here. So this is from a guy called David Alferton. I think that's how he pronounced his name. And he says this. In Tamworth in Staffordshire, allegedly, it appears an asylum seeker from Ethiopia, Somalia or Eritrea is seen in a playground taking photographs of the children. One resident has conf one resident has confronted him and he was in fact streaming on Facebook. He left only to return. So it's not innocent, is it? And I I've stated this on Twitter actually. This is what I retweeted. Oh, I've actually got it unfortunately, so actually I th think it's here, yeah that's it, it's here. I, I thought I retweeted but I haven't. Um, it says this, this could be a human trafficker picking out children to kidnap. It's sick, but it happens. Everybody has to be on high alert with their kids now. We have a very dangerous, we have very dangerous individuals in the country thanks to the government's lack of action. And that's true. If you've got kids now, you, you can't let them go to, down to a playground where you know there are um, illegal immigrant centres. You have to be on high alert now because these people do not adhere to our laws or culture. It's a completely alien world to them. So you have to be vigilant. These are not sweet, innocent refugees as they're being made out to be. A lot of them are very dangerous criminals. Uh, this is from Active Patriots Twitter page. So today in Dover, this, is, this was an hour ago, uh, right now, we're up to 1,000 migrants have already been brought in today. And you can see them there. They're just, they're just queuing up, lined up, bringing them in from the channel via lifeboats. And this is, these, don't forget, these are just the people that we know about. There could be hundreds of landings every day that don't go um, reported or don't get noticed. And these people, when they land... They just run ashore and disappear into the population, never to be seen again. Without any identification, any sort of passport, or going through any type of immigration control. And this, this is what's happening. And this is all due to government inaction on this. It's crazy what is going on in this country. And I'll, I'll play you this one. You can listen to this. Oh. <laughs> 
So before I play it, I'll just give you a little background on it. So this is from a migrant, uh, illegal immigrant hotel, sorry. And this was the early hours of the morning and the residents are getting tired of it because they can't sleep. This is the noise coming from one of these illegal immigrant centers. <laughs> So that's what residents have to put up with. I'll, I'll find out where this actually is. I actually think it's on the tweet. So it's this is what the this what Active Patriot is saying. It's 10.30 p.m. on a school night. This is in the holiday in, I don't know what that is, Manvers, Rotherham. That is housing migrants. Music, football, drinking until early hours. The neighbours are not happy. This has been going on for a long time and they they have small children that have to be up early for school. Again, in action from the government and the local police and the local council. They don't do anything. They're not interested. They're just not listening to what the people are saying to them and saying that we have to go on to this. So, great words spoken by John F. Kennedy. Those who make peaceful revolution impossible make violent revolution inevitable. So what does he mean by peaceful revolution? Well, basically listening to us, the people. That's the first step in a peaceful revolution. It's coming to some kind of agreement with the people saying, look, this needs to be sorted out. You need to do it. And then the government enacting upon that and then changing things so it doesn't lead to the second part of this statement, which states violent revolution inevitable. Because that's where we're heading. Because the government is ignoring us. They're not dealing with the issues that we're asking them to deal with. They're concerned with Ukraine, net zero, and that type of stuff. They're not addressing the issues that face us, everyday average regular people. And the people in these constituencies, in these towns that are facing violence on a daily basis because of untold amounts of illegal immigrants being placed there, they're heading towards this. They're heading towards violent revolution because that always happens when you're not listened to as a person. When your government stops listening to you and they keep piling on the pressure and, and don't do anything about the situations that are making the people angry, violent revolution is inevitable. It really is. Anyway, just wanted to get that off my chest. This is Vindicator, signing off.